Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's another day another video and this one is gonna find us doing a little bit of cleaning and i am also gonna share with you how to bake a banana cake or banana bread depends on what you want to refer it as but we are going to be using bananas to make a cake and it's the most delicious the most moist cake you will ever have it's actually the best so stick around for that so yeah at the moment we are just going to be cleaning my bathroom and forgive the quality of this video because i was struggling with my tripod here so yeah i actually did not even end up finishing the whole process but i hope you get motivated to clean your own bathroom and yeah so basically if you're a returning subscriber thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for always coming back to watch another of my videos if you're new here my name is alice rito and i do family-based content that means i do family vlogs i do cooking i do cleaning i do motherhood a bit of skincare here and there and mostly days in my life so if that's your kind of content kindly consider subscribing hit that notification bell so that you get notified each time i post a video in the meantime please get motivated to clean okay and then stick around for the recipe of the banana cake that is like the most important part of this video you don't want to miss that especially now that it's the holiday season the kids are at home you know the festivities are here you might find something that you can bake uh, as dessert for your guests you know or just breakfast snack for your kids so yeah welcome and feel at home let me know in the comment section what you think about the whole video so yeah 21 was too young I was gone, you were drunk She was there, I was not I know, I know 22 is when I knew That I couldn't end up with you And there was nothing I could do I know, I know and I used to be angry for the years I never got back, I never got back And I used to be angry for the tears But I'm done with that Cause all my tears were gone like they glitter At this point my tripod had refused to cooperate completely so i had just placed it on the floor and this is on all i got to capture uh, but i rinsed the bathroom after this off camera and then yeah that was it for the bathroom cleaning for now let's go and make the banana bread and i hope you're enjoying so far i hope you have been motivated to clean even if it was just a short one and yeah so for the banana bread obviously we need bananas and you need three or four bananas depending on the size of your bananas and they have to be really really ripe bananas okay so if you have overripe bananas those are the best but don't worry even if you don't have overripe ones so long as they are ripe 
you can use those so depending on the size if they are small go for four or five if they are big ones you can just go for three and they will be enough so what you need to do is peel them and then mash them in a bowl until they are like mushy like really really mushy then the rest of the ingredients please allow me to list them as we go like as i add them and instead of talking and making this video too long i think it is mostly self-explanatory so you're gonna see what we're doing here and yeah so i will put subtitles where necessary but in the meantime enjoy some good soothing music <laughs> Let's take it slow Where you go, I go too And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it slow Hey, now I forgot to hit record button for this part of the video, but I these are basically two eggs and a ha three quarter cup full of sugar. Please don't put more than that because the bananas are already sugarly. <music> swim no worries as we'll fall now let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom i'm going down with you let's take it slow who cares where we gotta be you know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me let's take it Once again, my son distracted me with his stories. <laughs> and I forgot to show you as I began mixing. Uh, so okay he is basically he basically asked me who taught me how to bake and i told him my mom and he was like when your dad did not teach you anything <laughs> why didn't he teach you how to ride a bike and that is when i remembered i hadn't pressed uh, the record button anyway what i'm saying is uh, once you start adding the flour 
you change the mixing thing and you start using either a spatula or a spoon and don't use a mixer because you don't want to over mix your butter so yeah alafu you uh, interchange between the flour and the milk you put the milk in two batches and the flour in three batches so that is basically it and yeah just make sure the last thing you add is your flour oh also someone was asking me why we sieve this is actually not a sieve it's supposed to be a finer sieve and we usually sieve so that you can sieve out the bigger particles and also it allows for the dry ingredients to like evenly distribute you know in the flour like the baking powder the baking soda and the salt and it's also for aeration so yeah and then make sure you folding in the flour and not actually like mixing that way it does not become too hard like you don't over mix your dough so yeah i hope you're enjoying to this point and for the last thing that we're going to add to our dough we're going to be adding cardamom you can add cinnamon at this point and we are also going to be adding some raisins and some black sultanas so yeah chill out for that part as well You, I haven't thought about you in a while I haven't thought about that beautiful smile And how it used to make my heart go wild Wild You, you look deep into my eyes And all I could think was why Did I have to fall for you this time? To know how you're gonna treat me I need to know if you can really make me happy I need to know that I won't be lonely I need to know before I call you baby Baby I need to know before I call you baby You, you're really funny I can't deny this will be enough for the bread because it's tiny so i'm also going to be making cupcakes so with the remaining butter but let's first see so you're gonna grease but i'm not like that at all place this just for the flavor of it not necessarily it's not necessary you don't have to if you don't have but i'm just gonna do that just to enhance the banana flavor you can skip this it's not necessary but if you want to you can add so then we're gonna add I think it's gonna be okay. Like, I don't need to make the cupcakes. Or do I? Let's make cupcakes too. So let's start. Hold me close till I get up 
Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And I So, as the cake is baking, let's uh, do a little bit of cleaning on the utensils that we have used. And yeah, so I hope you're still enjoying the video and please stick around to see the results. So this is how the cake and the cupcakes have turned out. They have cracked at the top, but that's that's not really a problem. Or maybe I baked them for too long. Maybe it was supposed to be 40 minutes. So please check at the 40 minute mark. Yeah, so this is how they turned out. But trust me, oh my god, they smell the aroma. I think that's my favorite cake about a banana cake. I like my favorite part of a banana cake. It's the smell. It smells so good. The house smells so good. Anyway, let's see how it looks on the inside. Also, please don't add the sultanas at the top. They kind of get a burnt taste. So, yeah, let them remain on the inside. So, yeah, let's see how they look on the inside. So this is how it looks like on the inside. I love, 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 love. I love this is how the cupcakes look. And this is how they look on the inside. I really love the black stringy things that comes with banana cake. Anyway, let's have a taste. Oh my god, it's so super soft. It's super moist and I love it. I really do love it. Yeah, so let's take a bite. Huh? Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, World Cup is finally over and my team lost. But Mbappe is the man of the hour, man of the match. But still, World Cup is over. I'm heartbroken. I am so heartbroken. But we just got to look at the positive side. Like, that game was epic. So, that's all I wanted to say as i do a closing remark for this video and say thank you so much guys for watching to this uh, point if you haven't subscribed yet kindly consider subscribing give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below please tell me the team that you are supporting did they win did they lose were you argentina were you france how do you feel about the whole of it but for me i'm heartbroken and i'm sleeping a very sad person but all in all it's a game we gotta have a loser and a winner and yeah, so I'll see you in my next video.